four ways to split tone in Darktable. What is split toning? It's giving one color tint to the shadows and another to the highlights. Why would you want to split tone? Giving separate tones to the darkest shadows and the brightest highlights changes the perception of depth and gives your photo some additional atmosphere and look. Sometimes a photo can be overwhelmed with too much of one color, and split toning can also help to create a more balanced look. There are a few different ways to split tone in Darktable, and today you'll see four of them. Method 1. The Split Toning Module The Split Toning Module is found in the Effects tab. It is the easiest to use and the only one that works with black and white images. However, it is more limited compared to some of the other options. Just open it and choose the color you want for the shadows and the color you want for the highlights. Then play around with the compressed slider to make the effect stronger or weaker. By the way, if you want to learn a bit more about the basics of Darktable, consider taking our course linked in the comments. Method 2. Color Balance RGB The Color Balance RGB module is found in the Color tab, and you may wish to use it since this module is also useful for basic image editing. Select the 4-way tab. Then choose a color for the shadows and increase the chroma. Do the same for the highlights to get a split toning effect. Don't increase the chroma too much or the effect will become unnatural. You can also play around with the luminance sliders to change the brightness of your shadows and highlights. Method 3. Color Correction The Color Correction module is also found in the Color tab. It provides a graphical way to view your split toning. Drag the white point to a color to tone the highlights, and drag the dark point to another color to tone the shadows. Watch out for the saturation slider, it can get psychedelic. Method 4. RGB Curve The RGB curve is found in the tone group, and offers the most control to manipulate exactly how your colors are modified. The downside is that you have to think in terms of separate color channels. Activate the module and change the mode to RGB independent channels. Go to a color channel you want to change and add some control points so that only the shadows and the highlights are affected, and change the curve outside the mid-range. Use the area eyedropper to determine the shadow and highlight areas you want affected. Tip 2. Add your control points before selecting independent channels. That way, you can modify the control points in the separate color channels in exactly the same points. Also, hovering your mouse over a control point will allow you to adjust it more precisely by scrolling your mouse wheel because the exact change in the height of the point is displayed in the bottom right hand corner of the graph. If your mouse doesn't have a wheel, go buy one. I hope these tips helped you with your split toning, but if you left the cap on your lens, they won't.